that is factorized 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. So I don't like the 2 sitting outside, so I'm going to factor out the 2. So if you factor out the 2, so 2 times x squared is 2x squared. I'll go 2 times what gives me 5, so 2 times 2.5, so I should write 2.5x here. And again, 2 times what gives me 12, which is 6. So now this is 2 times, so this is x uh, with a bracket and x with a bracket. I'm going to, I want to write two numbers here. I wrote x here because x times x gives me x squared. One, six times one is six. Okay, so let's start. Six times one is six. Three times two is also six. And one point five times four is also six. Okay, and if you go minus four, sorry, minus four plus one point five gives me minus two point five. So I can write here x uh, plus 1.5 times x minus 4. Okay, so this uh, 1.5 times negative 4 gives me negative 6. So this is 1.5x and this is negative 4x. Or 1.5x take away 4x is minus 2.5x. But we want to, uh, we will bring this 2 inside. So I'm going to factor in. Okay, first I factored out, I'm going to factor in this in this bracket. You don't have to multiply in both the brackets. So this 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 1.5 is 3 times x minus 4. And now you can check your answer by expanding it. So this is 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Now this is 3x this is 3x and this is minus 8x. So my 3x minus 8x is also minus 5x. Okay, so let us do one more question. So this is 10x squared minus 19x plus 6. So I'm going to factor out a 10 here. So if you factor out a 10, you'll have x squared. 10 times x squared is 10x squared. 10 times what gives me 19? So it is 1.9x. And this is plus 0 0.6. Now this is a bit tricky example. So I want to get the two factors of 0 0.6 which gives me 1.9. So let me write first 0 0.6, the two factors of 0 0.6 which gives me negative 1.9. 
So let me start with 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is 0 0.6 times 1. Okay. Now I want to get to 1.9. So what can I do? So I'm going to make the